minus payroll taxes and other costs, you just made an extra $50,000. Huh? It's a way to do it. Now you start planning for next tax season. How much growth do you want? Hi, Carlos Lopez here, EA and CEO of Latino Tax Pro. The big question I have for you today is, what would you do with an extra $50,000 after tax season? Well, let's show you how to make that extra $50,000 without getting all stressed out. So what are the challenges that tax preparers face today? Well, I can tell you after decades of preparing tax returns and running several offices, the biggest question people have is, how do I acquire a pipeline of qualified tax preparers? I need to hire, but I don't know how. My preparers need additional training. Where do I get that from? And I'm getting a lot of requests for corporations and LLCs. How do I reduce stress and grow my tax practice business? Where can I get help to do this? Well, I started my tax training business in 1999. I started a bilingual Spanish training center, and we were training injured field workers to prepare tax returns. So another big question I get is, how do I get people to attend the classes? Well, first of all, you're going to have to get people to come in and see you who are trained somewhere else and want another career. We started in our own little office and did not advertise. So people ask, how did I do it? Well, everyone knows someone who needs a job. Clients trust us with their taxes. Why not trust us with a part-time job? Call all your clients. Ask them if they know anyone who wants to prepare a tax return, maybe even themselves. Well, how much did it cost? I don't have money to rent a space. I don't have money to do a hotel room or a convention center. No, no, no. We used a small 1,000 square foot office with an overhead projector, transparencies. We used publication 17 and the FTB publication for California. We called our clients. No advertising in the paper, no TV advertising, no radio. Work with your current client base. At that time, we had about 400 clients. So 12 people signed up for the class. Six finished. We hired three, one for a receptionist and two for preparers. Then people asked, well, how do they get licensed? Well, since I'm an enrolled agent and I was a Schedule C in those days, everyone worked under my license. Well, how do you hire employees then? Well, I call this the 20 to 30 hour interview because all of our classes are online and what we do is we meet as a study group once or twice a week. This gives you a chance to pick out the engaged, who did the homework, who answers the questions. Very quickly, the good workers will emerge, but not so quickly, the bad workers weed out. So then, how do you pay your employees? Well, first of all, you got to pay a decent hourly wage. We start at $14 an hour. We pay the preparers a commission, 20% of the gross that they bring in. We deduct the payroll that we paid them from 1-1 to 4 so tax season payroll. The difference becomes the commission. Now, when you do this, you reduce discounts. It's like the preparers have their own business within your business. They know that every time they give a discount, they're only cheating themselves. Subcontractors are very risky. Don't recommend it because they are usually employees. You control their hours. You control their training. Who takes the risk? Pay the workers' comp insurance. It's so worth it. And then in these classes that you're giving, look for leaders. Look for managers. Look for the receptionists. 
and add ancillary services to your business. Everyone needs to be a notary public in our company. We need bookkeepers, sales tax preparation, payroll, form filling, especially for unemployment. Start your own career path working here at Lopez Tax or with your company. Become an enrolled agent. Be the top of your class. Be the top of your profession. Why are you doing this if you're not intending to become an enrolled agent? Take some leadership classes. There's a lot of them out there. You'll need to build policies and procedures. And guess what? We can help you with that. Join Toastmasters. Join the Chamber of Commerce. Get around. Get your name out there. Become known as the expert and the trainer of tax returns. So here are the numbers. You're going to need to start with at least 25 students, especially if you want to open a new office. You can charge $299 to $399 for a class. And as you can see, 25 times $299 is $7,475. 25 times $399 is $9,975. This pays for the teaching materials and your time. When you work with Latino Tax Pro, we'll give you wholesale prices on your materials. This will also pay to replicate yourself, to train a manager, and to train a receptionist. Okay, so suppose you yourself gross 200000 during tax season. That's pretty good, but let me show you something. You hire two preparers, they gross $35,000 each. That equals $70,000. You pay $14 per hour. They earn $10,000 during tax season. You pay a 20% commission on a payroll of $10,000. Here's how that works out. 20% of $70,000 is $14,000. Minus the $10,000 you paid in wages, that's a $4,000 commission. They each made $2,000 extra. We take the $70,000 that they grossed minus the $14,000 that you paid. And that equals $56,000 minus payroll taxes and other costs. You just made an extra $50,000. Huh? It's a way to do it. Now you start planning for next tax season. How much growth do you want? Do you want to double your business? Figure out how many tax returns you guys did and then figure out how many more employees you need to hire. Also, you need to pre-make all your appointments. We do that. When we're sitting there, they're already there. You want your client to know you want them back. So you ask them, does this date and time work for next year? Because I want you to come back. That's how you start your uh, tax appointment. This way, your clients know that you want them back and that you care for them. And what do you need? You need more receptionists? Do you need more tax preparers? Who can you trust to run another office? How many tax schools do you need? Now, remember, these are all virtual tax schools. We no longer have to have a classroom. There are so many opportunities out there. Instructor opportunities, co-branded websites, a career path? Are you new to taxes or are you a seasoned tax preparer? We have the training for you. You always train to hire. So you build a pool of entry-level tax preparers. You get to train your staff your way. Quality bilingual online tax training is available from Latino Tax Pro. This way you get to make money all year long and recruit quality employees. Yeah, grow your business. Look for new revenue streams, especially after tax season. Our instructors purchase courses at wholesale, then you resell. And you can resell to students or your market. These are virtual classes. You can make sure that everybody has an opportunity to learn the tax business. Your tax school will attract many people. You will choose which students. And you do that by seeing who's engaged, who's doing their homework, who's participating. And like I said before, this is the 20 to 30 hour interview and it's the best training. And you know why? Because it's coming from you. Now let your clients know, 
hang LTP tax school posters in your office. We'll send you some. As soon as you tell us you want to start a school, you're going to get materials from us. Put interest cards on each desk. Put a tax flyer in your tax folders. Have a contest for your employees' referrals. We give away a TV in each office to the tax preparer who gives away or brings in the most referrals. Call, text, or email your clients reminding them of their appointments. So let's go over the tax school timeline. Select which course you want to teach. We recommend starting off with the tax preparation course. And if you're in California, the 60-hour qualifying education course. Schedule your course start dates. We recommend on Tuesdays and do them for six weeks. Or if you don't want to work on a Tuesday or Wednesday nights, Saturdays. Set a bold enrollment. You want 25 to 30 students. Don't mess around with one or two because half of them will drop out. If you only start with one or two, you're not going to have any success with new preparers or receptionists. Market your tax school. Use the materials from LTP. Hang those posters in your office. Call, text your clients. Email them. Virtualize your training center using Zoom. People don't have to leave their homes. You purchase seats and materials from Latino Tax Pro. We have sales staff that will help you with that. Another thing that's very important, read through course contents. Stay ahead of your students. So always stay one or two chapters ahead of everybody. Practice using your virtual training center. And most important, start. It's so disappointing when people come up and I ask them, how did you do with your training center after they've been asking me and asking me? And they say, oh, I didn't start it. Don't be afraid. Start your training center. You'll be successful at it. Finish teaching the course. This way you can hire the best students. Reflect on the successes and challenges of what tax school was like. And start planning for next tax season. Double your business every year. No reason why you can't do that with this system. Look at co-branding your website. You're going to become so popular, you're going to want to have a tax training center website. And guess what? At Latino Tax Pro, we can help you do that. We have the tools we have the personnel, and most importantly, the support. If you have questions and you want to get started with your own tax school, please give us a call. We're available. We work six days a week, and here's our contact information on the screen. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Keep your eye out for more of these informational seminars. Thank you.